Welcome back. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to get to know the three type three types of oxygen consuming enzymes. And the first kind we're already familiar with. And this is an oxidase enzyme. And essentially an oxidase enzyme is going to do something like this. Okay? And I'm just using this as an example. Um, it's going to do something like this. And it doesn't have to be like an alkane oxidation. I'm just showing it like this. But essentially what's going to happen is you're going to use molecular oxygen, right? But none of the oxygen atoms get incorporated into the molecule. They both get expelled as water, right? And if you think about it, if you think about it, um, you've seen an oxidase before, right? You saw cytochrome... C oxidase. So what is the, and I mentioned this in that video on complex four. Remember, an oxidase is an enzyme that uses, does an oxidation with molecular oxygen, and none of the oxygen atoms get incorporated into the molecule. They all get expelled as water. Fair enough. The next type of enzyme has several names. One of them is a mono a monooxygenase. They're also called a hydroxylase. And the other name, which you should not get confused with oxidase, is a mixed, a mixed function, a mixed function oxidase. And we'll mention we'll talk about why it's mixed function. And essentially this is what they do. Okay, and they're usually NADPH dependent. So I'll go ahead and put that NADPH, and you end up getting out an NADP, right? Okay, so essentially what they're going to do is you're going to have oxygen, right? And let me do it like this. We have a red oxygen, my double bond, and let's do a purple oxygen, okay? So essentially what you're going to get is you're going to get a molecule and it's going to be hydroxylated. And let's do this hydroxyl group in purple, right? And kicking off from this reaction is, is water. So what did we just see? Well, it turns out that mixed function oxidases or monooxygenases or hydroxylases use molecular oxygen in order to add a hydroxyl group and usually they're adding it to a carbon chain right they're usually adding it to a carbon chain and one thing about this is one of the oxygens gets incorporated into the hydroxyl group and the other one gets expelled as water and the reason they're called mixed function and it's it, it didn't make sense to me at first but they're mixed function because um, because, well, it mixes up the oxygens. It mixes up the two atoms of oxygen. One of them gets incorporated into a, hydro, into a hydroxyl group. The other one gets expelled as water. So that's the definition of a monooxygenase. And there are certainly a lot of monooxygenases, and a lot of them are cytochrome P450 monooxygenases. So let me do that in blue. So some of these are cytochrome... P450 enzymes, and in fact, one of them that's of prime importance in physiology is aldosterone, aldosterone synthase. Aldosterone synthase is also one. There's also 21 hydroxylase, and there's even others like 11 hydroxylase, but they're all cytochrome P450 enzymes. Now, that's not to say that all hydroxylases are cytochrome P450s, but cytochrome P450s are, are a perfect example of hydroxylases. So the key is that one atom of oxygen gets incorporated into the alcohol group, the other one gets expelled as water. Okay. The last type of these enzymes that use molecular oxygen are called dioxygenases. And you may already be able to guess what they are. And to really illustrate this, I want to, I want to use an example. I want to use an example. And you may recognize this. This is tryptophan. You should recognize it. 
you should be able to recognize your amino acids, right? And the enzyme that does this reaction is called tryptophan dioxygenase, okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing we did before. So I'm going to have my oxygen molecule, right? And my oxygen molecule, got them in different colors. And what you're going to find with dioxygenases is that, is that both oxygen atoms get incorporated into the molecule. So what I'm going to end up with is something that looks like this. end up with something that looks like this. And this molecule has a special name, and it's called informal kynurinine. It's called informal kynurinine. And, no, and actually, let me, let me go ahead and do this. forgot to use my colors here. But notice, here's the oxygen atoms that we're talking about, right? So what, they, they both atoms of oxygen ultimately get incorporated into the molecule. And that's different from, from monooxygenases, right? In monooxygenases, one atom of oxygen got incorporated into the molecule, and it was as a hydroxyl group usually. Um, and in the case of oxidases, none of them get incorporated. So what I'm going to do in yellow is I'm going to write next to it how many oxygens get incorporated into the molecule. Here it's zero. In monooxygenases, it's one. And in dioxygenases, it's two. Okay, and so I, th I hope this video helped you understand the differences between these because the terminology is actually really important. And what you'll find sometimes in the name of enzymes is they're incorrect. Sometimes you'll run across enzymes that maybe it says oxidase when it's really a hydroxylase or something like that. And it, it's just important to understand the naming of these enzymes. Okay, so I hope this video helped. Um, see you in the next video.